Start recording. Okay. 10,000 fangs wrong with modern anime. Of course, it's not going to be 10,000, but it is going to be a lot. Um, I feel like one of the major issues with modern anime is unironically, like, fan service. And I don't say this in, like, a, uh, in, like, a prudish way. I say this in a, a lot of anime does fan service in a really creepy way, and it should be called out way. Um, like, I'm perfectly fine with fan service in anime as long as it isn't, like, creepy. Because, like, you watch an anime, like, say, fucking Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill is a phenomenal anime, and it's, like, fan service of a fucking series. And the thing that makes it phenomenal is that, like, it's just there in your face. Like, it doesn't hide it, it isn't skeevy about it, it isn't weird, it isn't creepy about it. It's just like, yeah. Like, it's, it's a part of the show. And I respect that, because it isn't, like, it isn't, like, fucking weird with it. Um, same thing with, like, an anime like Fooly Cooly. That isn't all that weird with its fan service. An anime like, uh, fucking, uh, Spy Family. I haven't watched the most recent episodes, so I don't know if they've gotten weird or not. But, like, that isn't weird with fan service. There's a way to do tasteful fan service. Yeah, funny fan. Yeah, there are ways to do tasteful and funny fan service. The issue with, um, a lot of anime is that the way that they focus on fan service is they will literally just have a character often not of age um and it'll be a situation of like okay we're gonna fucking put them in a really compromising position and it's like stop doing that because it makes me uncomfortable whenever like it makes me and other people uncomfortable i shouldn't say me uncomfortable it makes me and other people uncomfortable whenever people do that because it's disgusting it's like it's, it's pervy it makes you feel weird it makes you feel skeevy like i don't want to deal with that you know like fuck it b stars be damned um they knew what the fuck they were doing with with their shit their their fan service apparently like that wasn't weird it wasn't creepy it was fucking fucking legoshi legoshi and uh haru just being not human but being like together and shit but like it wasn't done in a creepy way although that is an anime i will never watch on my tv again i made that fucking mistake one time and then i got to that one episode and i was like yikes um but, um, shit, hold up, hold up, hold up, um, yeah, no, when it, fuck me, <laughs> um, when it came, when it comes down to it, fan service is a big issue, fan service should be allowed, but it shouldn't be creepy, uh, stop doing it to, like, 14 year old characters and fucking anime and stop being skeevy about it, just, if you wanna, if you wanna make a sexual anime, do it. Just don't be fucking weird. Like, I've seen... Like, Panty and Sock and Garter Belt is a fucking hilarious anime. And is it fan servicey? Obviously. Obviously. Obviously it is. Um, but the thing about it is that, um... It isn't like... Hey, we're gonna... We're gonna fucking be weird about it and make, um... Character suffer. No, it's in the fucking name. It is a it is a irreverently horny fucking anime, and they are not ashamed of it. They are proud of it. They are proud of it. Shit. Um. They are proud of it, and I'm proud of them for being proud of it. My my little scrunklies, you could say. Um. And when it comes down to it, like you just gotta be like normal about shit. Um. Another issue. I guess is episode length uh stop making the episode count so high i've had so many people tell me to like try to get into an anime and i check the episode number and it's like dude i'm not watching this shit like especially with the filler shit which this is like an industry issue please stop making anime from shows that fucking not shows from manga that are, like, not at least a decent amount complete and are, like, scheduled to be complete by the time, like, you get on to the area that you need to be at. Because, like, holy shit, you know? Like, there is no excuse. I, whenever I ask, like, oh, uh, like, what what is the anime about? Like, or, like, how should I watch it? I shouldn't get, like, oh, well, just make sure to, like, skip these episodes and, like, yada, like, no, I'm not skipping episodes, I'm not skipping arcs, stop it with the filler just to, to do it when the manga does it. I can at least respect One Piece. 
Because One Piece itself is a very long manga. I don't even... Is One Piece even complete yet? I don't even think One Piece is complete yet as a manga, and it's been going... Out. One Piece is so old that it inspired, like, the modern cartoon makers of, t like, to say. Like, Rebecca Sugar has talked very fondly about watching One Piece as a kid. Um, <laughs> like, I can at least respect One Piece's grind, but, like, Naruto and shit? I'm not skipping arcs. If your anime has filler arcs, I'm just not going to watch it. Like, one or two filler arcs, maybe. But if it's, like, half of the fucking anime, I'm not watching that shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Um, what else? What else? What's another big issue with anime? Now, now y'all, now y'all, uh, have me going. Now y'all have me going. Shit! Promise Neverland was such a missed opportunity. I watched season one, season two doesn't exist. One Piece will never end. True! The One Piece! The One Piece is real! Dead meme! Can we get much higher? So high! That's a Kanye West song, I'm realizing. It's relevant. It's true, the One Piece is real and it was in Hitler's bunker. Um. Okay. Well, if no one else wants to suggest any other issues with modern anime, I can go ahead and end this little mini bonus segment. Because this is pretty good for the channel. If I'm being honest, these little bonus segments. Where's my uh, chat glitching out? You know, doesn't look like chat's glitching out. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you all like this little mini segment. I love all of your faces, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.